So earlier we talked about the Firebug add-on for Firefox and how helpful that can be for finding CSS and uh, HTML on your page and uh, figuring out which styles are affecting which elements on the page and, and generally sort of getting an x-ray of uh, what's happening and how it's happening um, with the actual code that's being output. But uh, if you're looking for a way of finding out what's happening sort of behind the scenes within Drupal on the theming layer, there's a really great tool called the Theme Developer Module. It's part of the Devel package for, for Drupal. And you can get to it uh, if you don't have Theme Developer enabled and the Theme Developer mod, uh, block enabled, you can go to uh, Admin, Site Building, Modules, and you'll need to enable the the uh, the devel module. Oh, let's see. Uh, yeah, you need to uh, enable the um, devel module before you can enable uh, the theme developer module because it, it it depends on on they depend on each other. And you can either just uh, enable it here conventionally, or if you have as we do, the devel module block enabled. Um, you can actually just click Enable Theme Developer right here, uh, and it will uh, enable it. And what happens when the Theme Developer module is enabled is you get a little um, checkbox in the corner to turn on themer information. Now it's important to remember, remember that actually what's happening behind the scenes is uh, if, we, if we take a quick look at the uh, HTML, um, the theme developer module is outputting a whole bunch of extra stuff into the, into the page, um, mostly in the form of, of spans around things. And those spans can do a little bit funny things. Um, uh, the, the real good example is um, the, a theme function is outputting a, a table row on its own. It'll, it'll um, span wrap uh, around a table row, which um, some browsers aren't, aren't very happy about. Um, but, but mostly this is um, just kind of a learning tool. You would never, never, never uh, have this enabled uh, on, a, on a live site. Um, and uh, you probably, you know, the, the idea is turn it on, use it, and then turn it back off again. And that's why uh, the enable and disable are, are available right in the theme developer um, block. So uh, let's turn it on and, and see what we get you get this uh, panel pop-up that says click on any element to see information about the Drupal theme function or template that created it. And in fact, when you start rolling over elements on the page, anything that's run through a Drupal theme function or a template um, gets a red line around it. So if we click on, for instance, this right here, we can see that it's actually running through the template called node.tpl.php. Um, it's using the file at sites all themes 960 robots node hyphen story.tpl.php. Um, you can also see this, uh, and we'll get into this more in the advanced theming, but you can also see the uh, candidate template files, uh, and they're in order of. Um, generality so they get more more general the, the the first ones are the more specific ones so node hyphen view hyphen front page hyphen page dot tpl dot php <laughs> node hyphen view hyphen front page dot tpl dot php uh, you can see uh, we're, we're using a view for the home page here and so it's it's running through the views stuff uh, and it's using this one right here node story dot tpl dot php that highlight color isn't very good but uh it's using this one um you can also see that it, it's running the variables for this through these preprocess functions. It runs it through template preprocess, template preprocess node, content preprocess node, and views preprocess node. Um, and uh, and you can then the the more important thing actually to to most developers is they want to know what are the variables available in this node.tpl.php file, and you can see them right here. Uh, if you expand this. 
um, where it says template variables right here. What you can see is actually this, this top level of, of this array. If you just put a dollar sign in front of these things, these are your variables that you have available. Um, in in this um, in this template, so there's the NID, which is the node ID, the type, which is the type of node, um, the language of the node, the user ID of the user that created the node, um, the status, whether it's published or not, um, one is published and zero is unpublished. Um, where uh, the um, this is the Unix timestamp of the the date that it was created. Uh, uh, the Unix timestamp of the last time it was changed, um, the number of comments, whether it's promoted to the home page, whether it's moderated, um, whether it's sticky at the top of lists, um, and all this stuff. It goes on and on. Um, there's the version ID, the user ID of the user that created the current revision, um, the title, that's helpful. Um, whether or not it's the teaser. And looking through this, you can start to, you start to get an idea, right? You might think that the teaser would actually be the text of the teaser, the, the content. Um, but it's actually, you can see just from looking at this one, it's a, it's a binary, true or false. Um, and it's, it's true because this is the teaser of, of this item. Um, it goes on and on, and, and uh, the more you do this, the more you can start sort of figuring out what these things are. So the, the name here is the, the, uh, the name of the user that created it, um, picture of the user, uh, and then there's a bunch of stuff like data and stuff like that that are, um, that are in here uh, that you probably will, will never use, but they're there. Um, it's really powerful. Um, the, these variables are really the building blocks for, um, for themers. And uh, um, being able to have, to, to know what's there, everything that's there um, is, is really a big breakthrough for, for most themers. Um, Develop module also has a really super handy feature where you can actually view the source of any files in your site. Uh, so if we actually just click on this, it says file used, and we click on node-story.tpl.php, we'll actually see uh, the node-tpl.php file, uh, node-story.tpl.php file, uh, that Nate created um, in that previous chapter. Um, and you can actually look at it and kind of figure out what's going on with it. It really saves you having to switch back and forth to your, your text editor and, and that type of thing. Let's, uh, let's roll over another thing. So this is, this is the template file. However, a lot of, um, a lot of the theme uh, items run through uh, theme functions rather than, uh, than template files. Let me find something. So here uh, we're running through, so we're using views again. Um, if you do this on a default uh, Drupal site without views installed, you'll, you'll see a lot of uh, different kinds of things. Let me, let me find something that's a little, little less uh, viewsy here. Uh, actually, the development block will, will, uh, will look good. Um, so here we're seeing this uh, runs through theme menu item link. Um, and uh, again, we have the candidate function name. So if you wanted to override this theme in your, uh, override this function in your theme, uh, you could use these, these names. And again, we'll get into this in the advanced theming. Um, but for the basic theming stuff, um, mostly it's just a, a matter of sort of understanding how to look at these things. Um, you also have these uh, parents. So uh, this item that we clicked on, theme menu item link, uh, is a child of, and if, as you roll over them, you can see them highlight on the page. Um, and so we can go to theme uh, menu tree, which is a child of theme block.tpl.php. Uh, we talked about block.tpl.php, and you can see here um, that these are the variables that you can use in your block.tpl.php. If you wanted to override this block specifically, uh, you could use uh, a, a template file named block-menu-devel.tpl.php, and that would just override uh, the output of this block, um, and you would still have these variables available to you. Um, so it's really powerful. There's, it's got the duration that it took to run through this uh, uh, template, um, these preprocessed functions. A lot of the stuff, like I said, we'll get into, into in the advanced. Um, 
but from the a, a basic uh, themer's perspective, um, it's just super helpful to kind of, um, you know, like I said, uh, understand what the variables are uh, that you've got available. In the past, theme developers needed to do uh, print statements and um, all sorts of um, sort of code wrangling in order to find out what the variables were that they had available at their uh, to their um, theme functions and to their um, templates. And, uh, and now with Theme Developer, it makes it so much easier to be able to see exactly what's going on. It's a real great convenience for anyone who's doing any theme development, and we hope that you'll find it as useful as we do.